This video will cover the topic, Composition of a Trigonometric Function with the Inverse of Another Trigonometric Function, Problem Type 1. Let's do an example. Find the exact value of sine of inverse cosine 7 divided by 25. Let theta equal inverse cosine of 7 divided by 25. In other words, cosine of theta is equal to 7 divided by 25. In order to find out which quadrant the angle is in, we will use the ASTC rule. A common way to remember the acronym is All Students Take Calculus. This is a way to memorize which quadrants are positive for certain trigonometric functions. The acronym stands for All Sine Tangent Cosine. For instance, in the third quadrant, tangent is positive while cosine and sine are negative. What does all mean? All means that sine, cosine, and tangent all are positive in the first quadrant. Cosine of theta is positive. Cosine is positive in both the first or fourth quadrant according to the ASTC rule, so theta has to be in either quadrant 1 or 4. The range of inverse cosine is 0 to pi. By this rule, theta is either in the first or second quadrant. Which quadrant is theta in? Both rules agree that theta is in the first quadrant. Correct. Let's start by drawing a triangle in the first quadrant. Cosine of theta is equal to 7 divided by 25 by definitions of trigonometric functions. Cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Therefore, x is equal to 7 and r is equal to 25. Now let's solve for y using the Pythagorean theorem x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. First we substitute in the value for x and y, and we get 7 squared plus y squared is equal to 25 squared. 7 squared is equal to 49, and 25 squared is equal to 625, leaving us with 49 plus y squared equals 625. How do we get y squared alone? First, we get y squared alone by subtracting 49 from both sides. This gives us y squared is equal to 576. The problem asks to solve for y. How do we turn y squared into y? We take the square root of both sides. This gives us y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 576. Correct, and since the triangle is in the first quadrant, the y coordinate must be positive. So y is equal to the square root of 576, which equals 24. Now let's substitute y back into our original problem. Since theta equals the inverse cosine of 7 divided by 25, the equation can be written as sine of theta. By definition of trigonometric functions, sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, or y divided by r. Substitute in y and r, and we get 24 divided by 25. In summary, first let theta equal the inverse trigonometric function. This will become the trigonometric function of theta set equal to a fraction. Then find out which quadrant the angle is in using the ASTC rule and the range of the trigonometric function. Using definitions of trigonometric functions, the fraction will be represented by the terms opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Lastly, the Pythagorean theorem is used to solve for the unknown side. Perfect. It seems like you're ready to solve more trigonometric functions with the inverse of another trigonometric function.